Number five and six, mere problems three and four. Find the quotient. So, what makes this equal to zero? What subtract two? Gives us zero, the answer is positive two. Take the first polynomial and I put it inside, making sure that I'm not missing any x, x to the third, the second, to the first, and no x's. Always remember we bring down the first number before we start synthetic division. Again, I personally call it the mama method because it's multiply, add, multiply, add. And everything we multiply comes back to this outside number. Multiply to achieve 6, add down for 11. Multiply for 22, add down for 10. Multiply for 20, add down for 0. Now, do you have to do both long division, polynomial long division, and synthetic? Absolutely not. I'm just re reviewing how to do both. You choose which one makes more sense to you. So, I'm going to go over long division with polynomials. x times what is 3x cubed? Notice not only did I choose 3x squared, I put it in the squared column. Then I'm going to distribute this to both the first and the second terms. Now go to the second level and change the sign. And now add straight down. Cancels out. 11x squared. Bring down the next term. x times what is 11x squared? The answer is 11x. Again, it's in the x column. I'm going to distribute now to the first and the second. Change the sign of everything in the second row. And add straight down. Final steps here. x times what is 10x? Select a 10. Now distribute through. After distributing, change the signs in the second row and add straight down. Everything cancels. I have a zero remainder. So notice I have a zero here and notice I have 3, 11, and 10 on top. Also I have a zero's remainder and I have 3, 11, and 10. So it starts with nothing, no x's. 1x, 2x. Here's my answer, no remainder. What does no remainder mean? It means that x subtract 2, x subtract 2 is a factor. So if x subtract 2 is a factor, that means that 2, the root 2, is an x-intercept or a real root of this 